in one of the previous videos uh, we segmented the or we basically removed the the outer cylinder uh, from this mouse data set and we just extracted the mouse from uh, this this tomogram uh, for those for that uh, video we used uh, ellipsis um, to just select the the region where the mouse was uh, in this video what we will do is we'll try to extract uh, the the lungs uh, now but before that let's just turn off the the uh, these green uh, curves showing tag one uh, we don't want distraction while we are trying to segment the uh, the lungs so let's just turn them off so let's say let's show tag two that is the tag that we are going to use for um, for tagging uh, lungs so select tag two here and then we also want to show only tag two even here we will show only the curves uh, that have tag two okay so this is what we want to segment uh, it might be better to use the the other axis uh, y axis or x we can use y axis so let's just increase get a good view we might also have to change the transfer function so that we can get a nice curve um, so that the the edges are nice well defined uh, we will be using live wire segmentation so click live wire so it is already on if it is not then you can just switch it on and then you can put the point here we might sometimes have to change the transfer function so let's say remove that let's flip it and let's see how it looks from here it's going nicely here now if you for example uh, make a mess of the live wire so for example I'm I've done that and then I realize that this is not good so easiest way is to press escape so escape will basically reset the live wire and you can start again so here we are I've just increased the, the contrast a bit so here I'm just putting these uh, seed points here and then press spacebar so this is one of the tags um, So if the live wire seems to be going off course, then you can select a seed point so that uh, it can jot the course from that seed point. Now all I'm, I'm doing is just moving the mouse to jot the course and then selecting the seed points.
Now here it is going off the course, so I'm just selecting the seed points very closely. And then pressing spacebar. So I'm pressing spacebar to fix the uh, live wire and start a new live wire. So spacebar will freeze that live wire and start a new live wire. Again, spacebar will close that live wire. Mm. Now here, I've, I would like to have live wire going from here to here, so I'll just modify that live wire. and move this point. I can also add the points, uh, add the seeds or anchors, uh, remove that, but I won't do it for this one here. We may have to change the transfer function. So from time to time you may have to change the transfer function to if your data changes the um, the intensity. So if there are intensity variations in your data you might have to tweak the transfer function in order to increase the, the contrast. So this is these are the curves that we are drawing here. And this is how they would look in the other axis. So these are the curves that we have drawn. So we'll go a bit further to up to this point here and then we can interpolate the curves. Let's see how it looks in the other axis and this is where we are. So these are the curves that we have drawn. So we are going to extract this region here. So I can also draw curves from here this we can smooth out later on Okay, so we can we can interpolate these curves now. So 
So let's select all these curves. Shift space bar will select all these curves here. And let's interpolate. So this is what we have here. So let's also go up to this point here. Let's add a live wire curve. And then one here and this one here and let's just interpolate. So this is what we have. And now let's extract that. We can extract a mesh as well as we can extract the, the volume. So let's extract the, the volume. So let's extract only two. We are going to extract tags only, set outside to zero. Lung one. And let's try to see how it looks. So this is the, the lung one data set. So this is what we have. This was quick um, interpolation of the curves to extract the volume. And we can also extract the mesh. So let's just tag it. Uh, just mesh it. So we are going to extract only tag 2. Say so use tag colors or you can use transfer function. And then again lung 1. So there is no pond holes. Uh, we can apply big smoothing done and then let's have a look at the lung So this is what we have. Now what we can do is we can also use that as a mask and then use the opacity of the transfer function to extract the mesh. So if we extract the mesh now, we will see all these blobs here. Okay, so let's have a look at the vessels within the within the lungs. So again extract, so mesh, just two. 
tag color or maybe use the transfer function and oh, use tag mask plus transfer function so tag will be used as the mask and then we apply transfer function to uh, generate the mesh the opacity of the transfer function will be used to generate the mesh uh, let's give a color and then we are not interested in filling the holes and let's just fill the mesh So it's now processing the vertices. This is smoothing. Uh, there are a lot of vertices to be processed compared to the previous one because the previous one was just a hollow shell. So it didn't have too many uh, vertices to process. But this one is not going to be a, um, a hollow structure like the previous one. It is it's going to show all the, um, all the vessels uh, within the tagged region so it will have a lot of vertices in there so once the the vertices are processed we will load that in here and see the difference between the two. So this one was created using um, just the tags. So it's just the outer, uh, it's just the boundary of the tags, tagged region, basically the curves and nothing inside was meshed. Whereas in this case, um, we are using the uh, transfer function to uh, use the opacity of the transfer function to mesh the so this is what we have here lot of triangles so this is the internal structure of the of the lung all the vessels and so on.